Right, so after having successfully uh, written our face image uh, label pair to the database, we're now going to use our navigation buttons to, to read the data that we stored in our training set table. And for that, we have these click events of each button. When you double click them, it'll uh, take you to the code. And uh, we have, you know, sequentially four buttons. One is that'll view the first image, then for the previous uh, viewing, the previous images in sequence, then viewing the next image in sequence, and finally a button to view the last image. Now before we can actually use these buttons, we need some function that is actually going to do the reverse of writing a face image and label to the database. And that function is get face from DB. Now it is going to convert our, uh, it is first going to read the data from the training set table in MSXS database and then it's going to convert it from binary back to the image format uh, which is a reverse as you know of writing data to our database and how this uh, is actually working what these lines of codes are doing in detail I will refer you again to the supplementary tutorial I made on reading and writing uh, image data to and from MSXS database using OLEDB. Now I suggest you go and check it out. And as for this function, we're done when we have, uh, you know, catered a condition that if it's not successfully read, the data is not read. Now it is time to actually go and use this function in our buttons. Okay, so first we will try to load the first image in the record in the training set table. So for that we're first going to refresh the connection, set the row number, that is our reader, uh, reading index for the table, to zero, that is the first, call, uh, first index, and then we're just going to uh, get the face from image using our function, and then we're going to uh, read the label, and finally we're going to display what we've done so far on our Windows application form. And let's just preview it by debugging and there we go. The first image has been successfully loaded and as you can see we have it coded these three buttons so we'll go ahead and do that. And the work is similar so first let's go to the preview last image button and coded because it is going to be exact same code with just a little bit of change where we set our row number that is our reading index to the last record in our table MSX's database table Right, so it's time to preview what we have coded so far. So let's go and debug again and check out our first button and then preview the last. And there we are. So, so far there was only one face in our training set, so we're going to add another face. Let's select this and copy the name of the file. And there we go, select, one face detected, and let's add the label and add this face label pair to our train set it has been successfully added. Now let's see, since these buttons, okay, so this is the last button, the uh, last face we just added it, this is the first one. Now since these both buttons don't work yet, we're gonna go and code them. Okay, so now let's go to the click event of uh, the BTN pre previous and start coding. Now in here, we're uh, simply going to start by coding and seeing if the first label pair has not been reached, then we're going to continue and decrement our uh, reading index row number and start fetching the face name and face image from that row number. And similarly, we're going to go for the next button and we're going to do the reverse. Now here we're going to check if the last face label pair is not reached, then we're going to execute uh, our code which is going to be simply incrementing the row number, that is the index pointing to the label pair and just you know fetching all uh, the data face image and the label from that row number and displaying it. And so let's go and check our result. 
So far we had two images, one was for the last and one was for the second and as you can see, ta-da, the buttons are working. But since we have only two images, let's go and double check by adding a new face to our training set, giving it some random label. And there we are, it works perfectly and it is time to move on and make do with our update and delete face buttons and the remaining things in the next tutorial. So next up, coming very important, stay tuned.